Hello and welcome to Blood and Song. I am Johnny, your DM, and tonight I am joined by Christine, who plays Phaser. Hello. Dan, who plays Lack. Hello. I nearly said Smoke. Uh, <laughs> Sean, who plays Six. Hello. And Brad, who loves helping children's oh. charities. Yeah. And I also was... plays, uh, and that's why we're running late. Very lovingly cornered at the door. Uh, and also plays Octavius. Uh, how was everyone's week? Pretty good. good. Yeah, doing a lot of flooring, DIY, good fun. Haven't finished. That's the conversation they come to this stream for, isn't it? Oh Brad? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to take that? Like, Happy like to give some out. Stream. Brad and I were texting. Uh, he was giving me a load of flooring tips because I'm looking at getting my flooring redone too. So you know, it's scintillating yeah. being in your hot 30s. stuff. Hot yeah. stuff. <laughs> Anything exciting happen this week, folks, or is is reflooring the height of our adventures? No, my my excitement has been finding new sports in the Paralympics because uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's been really really cool. Um, I watched one last night that was goalball, which is just I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's like a, a if anyone has, you need to go check it out, or, or I'll see it on YouTube, or you know, it's it's a it's a a small court. And it's got um, uh, two goals that are the, the whole width of it. Um, everybody's got massive uh, um, kind of uh, blindfolds on, and the bells, the, the ball has got bells in it. So nice. they have to try and stop it getting the goal um, by just. And then, then there's like little tactile lines that it's just basically. I think it's like white white tape with with string in it or something, so they can feel where they are um, on the pitch. It That's is cool. awesome. It, it was so like good. A wicked combination of football and marco polo oh <laughs> i think it probably it, honestly though they were good um i can't remember who it was the usa versus like lithuania i want to say and they nice. were just absolutely just knocking the socks off each other constantly it was amazing um well, how can they I say, blocked... Dan, you have triggered a special edition pun there uh you, it's one of the things i say to gcse students every year you triggered it with your use of marco polo thank so, you um what do players in the orchestra play when they get lost? Mm. Don't know. Arco mm. polo. Oh, brilliant! Brilliant. Is it? Yeah. That, yeah. Don't, I don't understand. I love don't it. Even understand it. It's over my head as well. Yeah. Great. I'll be rolling oh. in the aisles for days on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I can sense it. I He's laughing on it. the insides. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't obviously be too mirthful on, yeah. on stream. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere there's a lone brand, violinist to yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I've had an exciting week. I'm still doing my show, which is really exciting. And we've had nice weather, which is great. So we haven't had to be rained on. And the cast and I did an escape room of which three people didn't know, had never done an escape room before. And we got out, which is lucky because it's, it didn't break my 100% streak of escape rooms. If I had, <laughs> oh, wow. I would have been able to talk to them ever again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it was inside the mind of Lewis Carroll to, he was having writer's block and we had to help him write Alice, um, Alice cool. through the looking glass. Is that the second yeah. one? That's the first yeah. one. Mm. Or the second, the second looking one. glass is the second one. Yeah, and uh, it was called Curiouser and Curiouser. And it was actually a very, very, would highly recommend the escape room, time okay. trap uh, escape rooms. Very good. If anyone wants to talk to me, uh, I could do a whole other stream about escape rooms. <laughs> I've, I've only done the nuclear track. nuclear bunker one. Secret nuclear bunker. Yeah. yeah. Sean and we I did, did a Star standard, Wars one. Yeah, yeah, it was like a Star Wars slash Star Was it actually Star Wars? It was like us, some like, knockoff version stages. of it, wasn't it? It was like a Red yeah. Dwarf. It's more like Red Dwarf than, than Star Wars or Star Trek. It was good. We escaped. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good. We spent I mean... 25 minutes, or well, wasted 25 minutes, because one of there was like these plastic overlays. And because so many people had used them, they'd warped, so they didn't trigger the thing they were supposed to do. That's what and he so keeps we... telling himself. That's yeah. why it took us yeah, so yeah. long. <laughs> we're blaming the faulty manufacturing. Definitely. And when, but when you move two of them around, it worked. That's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Sure. <laughs> Oh, we should yeah, we should do fun. a blood and song escape room. Also, it's that, a fantastic way at a stand But only in character. To... <laughs> yeah, totally. And then I have yeah. to be literally that everyone else. So yeah, good. absolutely. You have to do a sort of different accents the whole way through. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's what I do when I'm doing a single character. So, and there does you know. have to be animals involved as well. Yes, no. speak with animals. So... Sorry, Sean, I interrupted you quite a No, rudely. I was just going to, I can't remember what I was going to say, but I am going to tell a very quick story about a friend of mine who did a kayak 
kayaking escape room, and I still don't know what that is because every time I ask him what actually is that, he doesn't give me a straight answer. Was this friend so... called Mr. Jones, and did he escape down a river away from some angry indigenous people with their artifacts? <laughs> yes, he, he had two bags, you know, those doctor's bags full of artifacts, <laughs> and he was running away <laughs> down the, the rapids. And I'm waiting for him to come back and tell me, you know, how he's, you know, how he's escaped. Cool hat, from. carries a whip. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, Mr. Jones, Mr. I Jones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even Julian. though his name's not Indiana, is it? That's his nickname. No, I'm sure. What is his actual name? It's named after the dog. Yeah, exactly. What's his well, name? Henry, 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 Jones, Henry Jones. Henry Jones Junior. Yes, you're right. You're right. Uh, so yeah, how do you do kayaking escape room? That does sound. No, I d- this is the, this is my point. I don't know, and he won't give me a right. straight answer. So I, <laughs> so I, I like believe him. Brought a kayak to an escape room. I can't imagine <laughs> what it is if it's just like a, if you're actually in a kayak and you have to get. I, I have no. I genuinely don't know. So if there's anyone in the chat who knows, that should be a new metaphor, water. shouldn't it, Brad? Man, do you remember? It's like when you bring a kayak to an escape room. <laughs> <laughs> what does it even mean? Who knows? <laughs> um, talking about. Who knows? You might have noticed there's no Ryan this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's because he is busy doing other things that could not be reshuffled around, and we will miss him greatly tonight. Um, the best thing is, I'm sure none of us have discussed it, that Ryan normally handles discussing all the social media. Uh, so this is where I'm going to throw it to Sean and be, because it's brother, next best thing, isn't it? We should give the <laughs> socials by all doing one word of pitch all at once no right? one will get to anywhere they need to be if you do that. no no blood <laughs> song party yeah at. that's twitter done yeah oh yeah so but the app no, the other no, way isn't it the other way the app, the <laughs> we've already got it up well. ryan party. come back <laughs> it's blood song party on twitter and yes. blood and song on instagram everything else and yeah, on everything else. That's yeah. it. I'm trying and to remember like, um, what he said. Yeah. And on YouTube, you, you have to us. use Erienwell as mm-hmm. the uh, an extra word in the search engine just to beat the pesky algorithm, I believe mm-hmm. Ryan always yeah. says. Twitch and YouTube, and we appreciate any shares, follows, subscribes, bell notifications. That's the thing that everybody keeps saying. I don't know why they're allowed to keep saying bell notification as if it's an okay thing to just say. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. Isn't but say, it? isn't that a measure of pressure? Yes. Yeah. It's the pressure of how much you smash that like button. That's that's how like pressure smash, you are when you're smashing the like used, button. You there just you used there you Ryan's go. phrase. Who needs Ryan? But, although you know, I would Let's... say if you smash a like button, then you can't press it again because it's broken. So don't broken. smash it. Just just smash press the, like it the required amount. Yeah, once because if you press it twice, it's a dislike. Is that how it works? No, it's an unlike. It removes unlike. the like. Yeah, maybe that's why you smash it so you can no longer un- unlike it. <laughs> We right. definitely need Ryan like back. Like Doc Ock in a tra- like any <laughs> supervillain in a like in a speeding train, they smash that power button, and of course it goes to maximum power and cannot be undone. Right, so yes. that's what you have to do with our like button. We got there in the end. It's we miss uh, you, Ryan, because uh, you make uh, us all I mean, look good. Because it's you like it's like idiot. we like saw it. the straight road and decided to go through the field. <laughs> Almost like a D and D party, dude. Like Every onward. single that's week. What, that's what he says in Onward. Don't take the obvious route. Yes. There you go. Uh, right. That's as enough as a transition as I can be bothered to do. Brad, roll those credits. And welcome back. Previously on Blood and Song, what happened was this. Um, Our players came to the Revel and they partied hard, like it was a Bill and Ted movie, and they'd been given the command console to unlock all options. Uh, We had Sixsmith and Ripper decided to have 
one of the most glorious um I um, can only think of the wrong word again. Silly eating contests. Yes, yes, that's what actually <laughs> happens. Uh, I was actually going to go for the knife throwing bit, but yeah, the chili eating contest, which was marvellous, which was only made better, I feel, by making Sean and uh, Ryan. Ryan actually eat chilies yeah. in real life. Yeah, if you missed it, catch it up on the on the VOD because it was nah, it's well worth watching because you can see the sweat start to appear. It's great. Yeah. That. That yeah. so you, many can almost, colors, you can so almost sort of... see in the eyes makeup makeup where's makeup i, I could <laughs> just see the this, moment but... with sean where you, i yeah. could see the moment with you mate where you went i shouldn't have taken the black chilies from his garden they yeah. they were absolute murder because i thought yeah. they're black because they haven't matured into green chilies but they were they're, they're murder no. chilies no no they are black chilies yeah. I did yeah. say how that. was yeah. how was that the next day is more important i would you like me to tell you all the trials and tribulations of my rectum, or should we just just, just like on a scale of one to ten, just from cliff one being okay well, to ten being horrific? Well, it was obviously horrific. twelve, but I, I, will, I will, I will, I will, I was sending like the party popper emoji and then the toilet. That was, that was the best oh, thing to everybody no. at the party. Um, so people don't know this, but at the break, I actually had to take a lie down. I was okay, obviously, but I thought the only way I'm going to get back onto the stream afterwards is if I just take two minutes to lie down. Um, so have a word with yourself. Have have, a, have yeah. an introspective chat. It was like taking LSD or I something. Just, I just, I felt for you because Johnny said, "Oh yeah, we're going to take a break," and then uh, just see the slowly forming. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> it was still you? going. People were still <laughs> talking. He said they're going to take a break. People were still talking. Why yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, as your friend of, of yogurt, as like twenty years, uh, I just thought it was bloody funny. <laughs> and I'm doing it in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, let's let's hope we're like I, I see now we need things for the rest of the characters to, to break the fourth wall. That's there are some other people next. I don't know who out of you three who it's gonna be, but there's some fourth wall breaking gonna happen with, with the rest of you now. I don't know well, how if, or what. If Black was uh, bringing anything from last week, know. we know that uh, Christine and Brad he, should be yeah. drinking something or eating something really spicy, like a korma. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you know, there's some kind of uh, uh, victimization going on here, just because we're very, very English. And well, it's horrible being. No, we love it's horrible you. being um, categorized because of the it color is, of your it? skin, isn't it? <laughs> Horrid. All your ethnicity. You like terrible. This. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Victimized. Um, it's terrible. No, it's fine. We'll give you some really spicy pepper chicken. Um, like, we need Octavius to like handle fire or something, right? That'll at least bring us some. You know, some that numbers to our stream Bad and it's like man idea. dies on stream, burns <laughs> to death live. But you know? back to our recap, oh, after yes, the chili sorry. eating oh, yeah, competition, sure. uh, we then had, or rather before I got, uh, you know, afterwards we had Ripper and Six had a little bit of a moment, uh, which was a fantastic juxtaposition, the word came back to me, of uh, profound, or profundity, as the word is, uh, Offset against the ridiculousness of having this profound conversation in the middle of throwing knives. <laughs> oh, at, yes. It was uh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At Ripper. <laughs> so as the others explored, we found out that Octavius has a sneaky little gambling problem. Kept that one <laughs> hidden from the group. Yeah, really? Uh, yeah, it's, it, 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 it's not that hidden. He's just been consistently gambling only with toots. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very that. true. And, 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 and Toots yeah. is too good for you. That was the problem. So yeah, and that's that. He had to go somewhere else. He can't Lack get his fix. managed to explore a funny old museum that was filled with rather dubious quality goods, along with Phaser. It was there that Lack found a mysterious tablet that spoke to him in a strange language and then met up with a figure who was requested to talk to him. Meanwhile, talking of Toots, Phaser turned around at the end of last episode to find Toots missing. And that's the exact moment we are picking up. Oh my god, don't. What do you want done, Christine? I don't know. What's, what's Phaser doing? Six is, six is gone, I reckon. Well, we'd left, hadn't we? Hadn't we? Well, we were all sort I of think both, to the red tent. I think, yeah, Six and everyone had shot off to the red tent. And yes. I had snapped my bracelet. Yes, that was it. Yes. Because, um, yeah. so Phaser had, well, Lack 
I had seen his mysterious figure, um, he introduced himself as well, didn't he? Or she, yes. I don't know, I didn't say. Of, 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 Loki? Did. Of, of, or of, of Loki? Of Loki, okay. And um, uh, I think that was... Um, Oh, we did. oh, I thought it was a lot of thinking going on there. You, you had this perfect, um, thing. Uh, and then you froze in this perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for anyone listening to the podcast, Christine's right. frozen faces look like normal faces today. They don't look like she's frozen at all. Um, yeah, now she's back. Yeah. That's okay. Good, good. Um, yeah, basically, I feel like he was about to go in the tent, or he'd gone in the tent, we were about to follow him or something. That was yeah. the one. He was talking to um, Lack, Black, right? Black. Yeah. yeah. So Six, I think Six has barged. I don't, I don't know if he'll circle back to the group of someone's signaling, but he sort of, you know, when some someone's lost something and someone just immediately gets up, they're like, oh, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'm off. And they sort of, you know, I'm going to go find an authority or, uh, you know, or someone who might have known or I'll backtrack the steps. He's just sort of gone and done it, I think. Okay. Um, so you can make an investigation check as you're going off to find somebody. Phaser, what are you going to do seeing Six kind of blustering off? Uh, where's, where, where, which direction did you bluster off into, sorry? Into the tent? Yeah, he's gone back, I think he said, to try and back backtrack his steps. Yeah, I'm oh. just trying to look, I'm just trying to wander around looking for, just sort of do, pushing people okay. past, he's... looking for an authority figure. Okay, so who's currently around me? Is Lack, have you gone into the tent? I believe I'm just in conversation with Floki, so uh, I don't know okay. whether I'd have heard you say... Okay. Oh, no, you did say to, but I was, I'd was i bolted anyway at the same time, so I'd oh, heard yeah, a voice right. in my head. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So basically, oh. <laughs> Faze is just very lost at the moment. If she can see... if if, if I think if, if she's going to follow someone who looks like they know what they're doing. So o if Octavius is, is literally just gonna stand still and wait. Okay. Yeah, uh, you cracked yeah. your bracelet, haven't you? Basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, six. How did you do with that investigation roll? Seventeen on the investigation roll. Okay, so that's pretty good. As you're looking around, uh, you remember from the rebel that it doesn't seem to have any kind of official guards or anything like that. But you do see. Uh, with your observation skills, a couple of the um, vendors just eyeing you, kind of seeing your frantic nature. One who's wearing sort of like a sleeveless vest with massive braces, bald head, big beard, tattoos all up his arms, walks out and just says, What seems to be the problem there? Ah, you sound like a very trustworthy uh, young man. Um, not evil at all. Um, I'm looking for, do you know the authorities around here? I'm looking for a small uh, companion of ours. Um, looks like it's made of a strange um, uh, sort of element. Uh, it's, it's living like a small, like an, you know, like an armadillo we um, have back home. I don't know, a little bit like that. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me. And because uh, Faze is like, no, so she is four foot one high um, from the ground to the top. She has uh, two uh, rear uh, bipedal legs and she's got uh, claws at the front there are four claws on one hand and four on the other um, she's made of um, wood and steel and um, a little bit of glimmer wood I managed to get in one of her scales because I got a little dice in there she's got beautiful eyes they're so beautiful they're um, kind of beady and... like little like like, little, like a creature's eyes you know yeah. little yeah. right you see them and they see you Right, I think your uh, internet's being a bit laggy there again. Um, <laughs> no, no, I've got uh, this. I've got this uh, phaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a beady little eyes, a hor like a horrible little nose. Nasty no, right, little I'll, thing. I'm going to stop you there. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry, I've not seen anyone matching that description. Can you point us in the direction of, uh, I don't know, a... Uh, 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 somewhere this type of creature might go uh, or somewhere like maybe we could speak to an authority figure or something because we need to um you know uh, how anyone... do you deal with things like this lost and found lost and found is what you, you guys call it here right uh... Fraser, are you okay with lost and found we go to lost and found maybe we, we go there she lost we find you know the, the usual yeah you're, you're muted. muted there Fraser. it's shocked you are muted it's okay i'm absolutely shocked 
<laughs> um, no, yes. Um, I, I, is there like uh, uh, some kind of tannoy or, or something? She'll, she'll hear me if I can call out. Or, or... Oh, it's funny you mention it, because we're the lost and the found here. You see, that's sort of what this place is. It's we've all found our way here. Maybe she's gone to find a place that she fits in. I don't know. It's very poetic, obviously, as a person who, who, who well, takes notes, I will write that down, but it's not very helpful, so, uh... Oh, um, sorry there, mate. Can I introduce you to my stall? We have, uh, coconuts to throw. N no. I think we'll circle back. Faisal, will we circle back? Mm. We'll okay. come to the stall afterwards, won't we? Yeah, let's okay. find, find foods first. So, Octavius, about this moment, um, you see a hear, uh, you hear a voice rather behind you going, Right! What the bloody hell is going on here, then? Ah, and you turn around and see a kind of um, slightly kind of greyer skinned goblin with these giant ears that have just got rows of uh, earrings, kind of <laughs> tiny gold hoops all down and goes, Breaking your bloody bracelet, mate. That's so we like everything knows where you are and that. What's going on? We have been stolen from. Right, right. Um, one moment. Looking back. Yeah, that's not against the rules, mate. Nothing I can do. Sorry. It's not against the rules to steal something. You know the rules. Two rules on the rebel. Don't Even cause if any that violence. something is a potentially a person. She's you just, endorse it's a companion, I believe it was taken with violence. She's, she's sentient. Kidnapped. She's definitely sentient, and she's been kidnapped. She's right, been kidnapped. kidnapped. Excuse me. And goes back to his little rule book. Um, could, and, well, with your passive perceptions, you see that his rule book is essentially a piece of paper that on one side says no divination, enchantment, <laughs> or illusion magic. On the other side, it says do no violence. He goes... Yeah, kidnaps not in here. Sorry, would, mate. Then well, I would hesitate to say that kidnapping is violence. I would, I would say that, that it would. I think they're spelled differently. Because she's, yes, she's but... my pangolin. In order, right, to, pangolin. in order to kidnap someone, they have to be violent. I mean, sh right? I, I see. Make so a someone has been violent with advantage. Someone. Make a Don't mind too. Persuasion <laughs> with advantage. Okay, not me. Back at it. <laughs> I oh, think you need to help us take us it. to your leader, is what Six says, and then he does a little, uh, he's he's okay with doing this, because he's the, yeah, don't worry, I'll find, I'll find her, I'll find two. Okay, I uh, rolled a natural one on persuasion, well that worked, didn't it? But you, you have advantage. advantage. Uh, terrible. But your internet is rolling at disadvantage. So, so. Uh, I got a four. A four. So he goes, four. right, I mean... It's a great idea. Maybe a kidnapping is violent, but if there's no proof of that violence, then it's maybe it was a friendly kidnapping. Alright, look, I got 17, by the way, in my role, Christine, so this is your fault. And six, six will, um, he'll <laughs> just lightly, like, take one of his greaves off, and he'll just lightly tap the guy on the cheek with the glove. Like, like it's almost nothing, and he does it like a sort of, there. As if he's done some violence to the guy. Now, we would like to see your leader, please. That's... What? Bloody hell, mate! That's, like, rule two! Do no violence! <laughs> I know. I know. Right, well, well, you're all coming with me. And, um, can you all just roll a d6 for me? As he seems to, uh, kind of reach inside him pull out this device and just kind of press something on it. Three, okay? Mm -hmm. Me as well? Nope, nope, you are... Actually, yes, you. Because I'm attached, yeah? Yep, yeah, everyone is attached. Five for six. Two for me. It's confusing, I get that. You take that <laughs> many points of um, damage. If I don't as... have a band? If you're not wearing your band, Sweet. then you don't. Well remembered. As your bands basically glow red, they suddenly go uh, like kind of lava red, and they start burning. Uh, so much so that the pain it becomes kind of hard to think, and then you find yourself kind of being magnetically almost kind of pulled towards the centre tent. He goes, 
Right, well, this is the last of this nonsense we're bloody having. We'll get you in there, talking to the madam. We'll soon find out what's bloody going on, won't we? Black, you find yourself being kind of pulled away <clears throat> from this figure. And off Loki looks at the band and goes, No, no, no. We were in the middle of conversation. Just waves his hand and <sighs> all the colour drains from it instantly. And you can do what you will. You'll have to teach me that trick. Huh. Ah, maybe in about 400 years. I've got the time. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I would consider that a date then. Although we have much to discuss before then. Now, I see your friends are uh, engaged in something. I think they should probably be all right, as long as they do not offend the madam. Would you wish to go with them? We can do this later, or we can Oh, no, they'll now. offend the madam whether I'm there or not. It's fine. Oh, marvellous. In that case... Come with me. And whilst the rest of you are being dragged off, we're going to cut to off Loki, moving away with Black. And he pulls you into what appears to be a side tent where some people are shaving humorous holes in someone's hair whilst they're sleeping. What are you going to say head? Oh, I know. <laughs> no violence. No violence. No violence. No violence. <laughs> No, no, much more a juvenile prank than uh, a dangerous one. So I've realised, trying to change the ambiance, and I googled or I searched completely the wrong thing. So as he walks into this tent, he kind of looks at them and says, I think it's time for you two to leave. You know, you're really rather hungry. And suddenly they just stand up oh, you know, I think I'm a bit hungry, and just walk out of the room. He turns to you and says, please, have a seat. And you notice that there are kind of these lush, um, kind of velveteen sofas. Okay, he uh, will drop into his squat next to one of the sofas. Or sit there, whichever you prefer. It makes no bones to me. As long as you are happy, that is all that really matters. Now, I have been watching you for a long, long time. And I feel that we have much to discuss. A lot, actually. Um, you're not quite who I expected. What did you expect? Well, I don't understand how you can talk to me through a shard. You will, eventually. Okay, um, there's a lot of time waiting going on here. Um, so, um, I guess you should ask first. What is it that you seek, Lakrishni? I don't know. Hmm. Um, you see now, this relationship will not work when you lie. The thing is, you think you don't know, but you do know. I know what you seek. You seek truth. You seek purpose. Dare I say it even belong it? <clears throat> I belong with my brother. I belong mm. with my family. Yes, I meant of a different sort. Still, your mother always loved stories, didn't she? Yes. Well, allow me to tell you a story. And as he sits back, like the light drains out of the tent, aside from a small glowing orb that takes on the effigy of a fire in the middle uh, on the kind of small table. It doesn't glow red and orange. It's glowing kind of green and blue and purple as it flickers. And the shadows draw in as though you are around a campfire. The tent itself is surrounded almost by stars, it seems, as the inside just illuminated. And there's this roiling smoke do you know how this world came to be? Um, my mother told me stories, but um, the more I'm learning, the more I'm realizing uh, Indiris and Janellans have different stories. Oh yes, they all have many stories. What I tell you today is the truth. In the great darkness, long before any of us, even I, was born, swam the great mother, our creator. 
Some say, of course, it is not a literal person. Some say it is sort of a divine will, the universe experiencing itself. That is sort of irrelevant, really. What we do know is that our world, Aryan world, was created. In the moment of its creation, something crawled inside and hid. Something dark. Well, even that is a misnomer. Dark itself is not inherently evil. This thing is. It has no name. Certainly none I have found, and I have been looking. Some call it the corruption. Some call it the darkness. I again, it is irrelevant. What matters is the truth. You brought up with the tales of the gods. Yes. Yeah, it's like he's been spaced out, just like listening. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Yes. Well, this will make this easier then. You see, the gods themselves did exist. They walked amongst this, well, not this place. Chinella didn't exist then. There was a much older people then. They had no name. They were not Indirans or Chinellans. They were just the first people. And they lived in harmony. Let me ask you a question, Lack. How many gods are there? Um, I thought seven. Mm -hmm. He says, looking into the sky. Seven. Well, that is very interesting. Seven gods. Not quite. You see, there are seven prime deities, the, the prime divines, but there were others. Some say they are not, in fact, gods, but they were people whose power grew very great. Some say they were, in fact, the younger brothers and sisters and cousins of the gods. What is true is irrelevant. What matters is what happens. You see, these younger beings, the younger divines, they governed over the people. The other gods, Andra, looked after the world, the planet itself, life, guided by Eluria, her elder sister. Feliana watched the waters, constant pull and fro with her lover, Carrion. Circa burned wherever fire was needed to cleanse or to heal. And Aramis, hmm. Death is part of a healthy cycle. Vax's face grows a bit dark at that. Yes. The younger gods. The secondary divines, the sentient divines, they really had no name. They embodied the best and the worst, maintaining balance, much as the other gods did, of the sentient folk. There was Sikith of dawn, El Arel of dusk. Bellion of justice, Tal of vengeance, Tiriana of bliss, and Misleth of fear. Now these gods lived in harmony with the others amongst the first people, but I think you remember I mentioned that corruption. It did not stay hidden. In fact, it returned. Do you know what the first signs of that corruption returning were, Lack? I fear it's plague. Hmm. Clever boy. Plague spread. A dark smoke roiled across the land. People became corrupted. Peaceful folk became vengeful. Artists became murderers. 
And then the corruption returned. There was a great darkness, so great that the gods themselves had to step in. And in the midst of these battles that lasted centuries, their younger brothers betrayed them. Now these forsaken ones, these deceivers, these traitors, they almost cost us everything. But they were bound. They were defeated by the gods. This, however, did distract them from their great evil that they faced, greatly weakened them. So much so that they had to bind themselves, sealing themselves away from our world, in order to trap and imprison the darkness back in the center. Now tell me, Lack, what have you been dreaming of? The gods and danger, my mother, and this really nice gale rap thing that we had. Mm. It's very good. That does sound marvelous. Is this a dream you are sharing with other people? Uh, the gale, I don't know, although I imagine they probably all are. Mm. It was tasty. Um, the other ones, I believe we've talked twice. I also don't know why I'm telling this to you, because I don't know who you are. I already told you. I am off Loki. Is that, that doesn't mean much. You've been observing me for the last few months, yes. nay, longer. Oh, years, Lack. I have watched over you since you were born. That's either very kind or very creepy, and I don't know which one, because I don't know you. You do know me. You do not know yet that you know me, but you do. Okay, so you, I have two questions. You said us. Yes. Does that mean you're one of them? One of the first people? No. One of the sentient beings? <laughs> well, of course I am sentient, I am not a rock. Uh, you know what I mean, the other ones of which half were betrayers. One of the six betrayers. Certainly they thought I betrayed them. But no, I did not. But you were one of them? No. Okay. I knew the gods. I walked amongst them. I can't say I was a particular fan of their divinity, but someone has to keep count of what is happening in the world. Ah, so you're a watcher. Yes, I like that term. A watcher. Mm. Hmm. I've watched over many places, not just this land, other lands. I like to keep the balance black. Mm. I see. Now, it seems to me you know a thing or two about keeping the balance, not tipping something too far. I just think that sometimes some things get too much, eh? Certainly. After all, we wouldn't want to make any life-altering decisions. Certainly not whilst, say, at school. No, absolutely not. Hmm. Not quite ready yet, I see. Well, in that case, I have been watching a long time and I tell stories. Allow me to help you find your purpose because I would not tell you what to do. You see, people will tell you what to do. Oh, I ignore them all the time. Oh, I know. It's one of my favorite things about you. Hmm. Let me tell you another story, a story that has not yet come to pass. That's strange. I am exceedingly strange. Now, you've mentioned the plague. And I'm sure, I have been gone a long time, that corruption has returned here. Darkness befalling people, hearts corrupted, illness and sickness throughout the land, yes? Yes. Well, when this happened the first time, the gods were there to face it. 
What would happen if that darkness, the corruption, arose? And the gods were not there. Well, then I think it would come down to anyone that could stand up against it. Very true. Very true. What happens when an ant tries to fight a giant black? Well, if one ant tried to fight a giant, not very much would happen to either of them. But if a well, swarm of ants tried to fight a giant, I've seen those red ants huh, in Indiri. They are My brother nasty used little to, buggers, yes. They used to say how they'd bury deserters um, and let the, like, they'd let the red ants bite them to death. Are they still doing that? Yeah, they bury them upside down as well. There we go. Head first in the sand. I mean, they well, probably suffocate before they die of the bites, but it's still fun. Apparently. Are you sure you're not thinking of ostriches there, Black? Um, what are ostriches? Are they Indian? Mm, okay, another place. I have been many. It, it, I, I, it, it is a struggle sometimes, even for one such as I. Let me finish the story. Yes, many ants may defeat them. Or one very small ant, you crawled up its bottom, and then you cast an enlarged spell mm. on it. <laughs> I like the way you think, Lack. It is that sort of creative thinking that might help this tale have a happy end. The dreams that you've been sharing, the places you are seeing, they are real. They are the resting places, the prisons of our gods. Are we to release them? I told you I was not going to tell you what to do. This is your journey and your decisions. Okay, final question. Yes. What is the source of the darkness, the, the oil? The corruption itself. Hmm. It is as well to say what is the source of consciousness or the source of life. Some things just are. All things have their opposites. That itself cannot be beaten, but it can be bound. With a little help. Now amongst your friends, I see the rather muscly one who thinks a lot of himself. He has reason to think a lot of himself. Oh, I, I agree. His guide, he swore an oath to the goddess of life herself. Mm -hmm. She may have been of service to him. Your tiny red friend. She I'm prays. sure she wouldn't appreciate being called that, but uh, I hear you. Well, her skin is the most beautiful shade. Mm. Tiny. Oh, yes, of course. Well, she is tiny. Big in heart, though. <laughs> I appreciate that. That's good. <laughs> She is brave beyond even her understanding of the word. That is true. She prays to the goddess of earth. You will need deep roots for what is to come and the help of the land. Your other companions. I see a little of inspiration in one of them. I see fire in the other. Between you, you nearly have a full set. But I sense that you do not serve the goddess of water. Tell me, Lack, which of the divines do you think you are most aligned to? I don't think I find any strong connection with any of them and all of them at once. There's something strange about their rigidity, their logic. I agree. Rigidity is terrible. If only there was more chaos in the world. I am a leaf on the wind. Hmm, watch me blow. Now, I think that's wonderful, but imagine not just being a leaf on the wind, but being a storm that changes everything, like. I am... Um... I learned very, one of the things I learned at school is that those who think too much of themselves end up being brought low very quickly. I agree. 
it is usually me bringing them luck. I love the fact that you are grounded. And yet there is chaos in your soul. I can sense it. I have seen it. Chaos means life can continue without other people constraining it, without other people forcing their objectives on it. What will be, will be. It is our job to guide and nurture life without controlling it. Indeed, life uh, finds a way. It does. Often hidden in amber. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do. I have told you my stories. But may I give you one piece of advice? Of course. The words you speak change you. If you would seek them out, know they are bound to the gods and you will have to make a choice whom you will draw power from. Think wisely. If you bring them back, the world might serve be better. them. Well, serve is a long word, strong word. Think of it as being their avatar in this represent place. Represent them. I understand. Okay, so who represents the unknown source of corruption? Because if there is to be balance for every one of us that represents a god, there must be someone that represents the source. You are quite correct. I believe you have already met one of them. Oh, okay. You could enlighten me on that one. I believe you freed him from a place where I had trapped him. The angel? Oh, oh, a angel. <laughs> and you just see him laugh. Is that what he told you he was? Hmm, well. Let Six Smith's rain. eyes are rolling out of his head, by the way, at this point. He doesn't know what's going on. He's like, why are my eyes rolling out of my fucking head? <laughs> why am I feeling like I should scream, I told you so? <laughs> <laughs> they are out there. They have been working, some of them, for many centuries. I sense that you do not like this place, Chinella. It's okay. It's just very bland, huh? And no one likes anyone. Everyone's walking around miserable. I wonder if it's because um, no one likes anything here. I wonder they just boil, why that they is. Boil their, they boil their, uh, their vegetables. They don't put any spices on it. Uh, they take the potatoes out of the ground and then Salt they mash them. Spice. <laughs> Ketchup's the spice. <laughs> well, Black, let me ask you this. In your experience, can you judge all people by where they are from? Absolutely not. I completely agree. So there then. are three Indirians in our group, and every single one of them are brilliant. But there are some horrible people in Indiri. So let us then consider. When are people that once brought joy and art and beauty to the world turn miserable and petty? Maybe they're the government. This is where it's happening. Maybe some things Government's are behind the it. scenes. Conservative government's spoken. <laughs> there are people... Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher did it. Shut your noise. No <laughs> politics in D&D, &D, please, Sean. Yeah. No politics in D&D. &D. Unbelievable scenes, Jeff. There's no pol no politics in this game whatsoever. Um, <laughs> maybe there is deeply wormed into the heart of each land. Maybe they have been preparing. I don't doubt it, and we are very unprepared. Well, go and cause some chaos. You will get stronger. And then we will be ready for what is to come. Okay, so my biggest question, which has just come up from this, he says, and he sort of rises, because he, he could hear of Loki just going towards the end. If we merely contain this, this is a cycle that would go on forever, right? Until the end of the world, yes. So what's the point? A 
exactly. What is the point, Black? What is the point of eating beautiful rice in the morning, knowing that you will die? What is the point of dancing at your sister's wedding, knowing that she will die? What is the point in kissing your mother goodbye, knowing that she will die? And some of us never got that chance, and he turns and walks straight out of the tent. I'll be seeing oh, you, Lack. That's a six smith move, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Fully six smiths the moment. <laughs> Are you going to look back or are you walking away? No, he's really upset at that, actually. So he just he is just going to keep walking. OK, at that point, I'm going to jump back to the others. As you find yourselves being led towards the center. This is out towards six. Why? We didn't have to get we didn't have to go in like this. <laughs> Oh, also, by the way, this was addressed just briefly moments ago in our chat. Um, Ripper is going to be with us as well. So everybody in the group, think about what, how we would react to this, because I, I don't know. I don't know okay. about this. I was doing, I was miming some, you know, some, I feel like the crossover is that Ryan would have mimed some big muscles at a certain amount of points. You know, oh, like I thought so. you were doing move like an Egyptian. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just, <laughs> that's because when I do that, no muscles appear, unlike when Ryan does it. So you just think I'm dancing. Um, right. But yeah, so. <laughs> so is anyone doing anything or talking to each other or to uh, the this strange goblin that's pulling you towards the oh, centre? Uh, Six will just reply quickly, I think, to Octavius and say, um, when we get in there, I'll take full responsibility. I don't know why these bracelets uh, would consider us all liable for the same crime. It seems very unusual, but... Uh, uh, you're putting us on the back foot, though, by uh, slapping that goblin. <laughs> you know, I, did, I didn't think I was slapping him. I thought I was just, uh, you know... Bloody violence, mate! It's not on! One of the two rules! There's only brushing, two! Just brushing my glove against his face. I think know? a third one needs adding no kidnapping. <laughs> Do you know what? Great, you'll have a chance to take it up with the boss, but I don't handle what the rules are. I just enforce them, mate. Mm. Um, uh, Face is uh, sort of quite close to six. And um, as much as oh, they're on one wrist, aren't they? As much as they're getting dragged like this. <laughs> She's like, um, uh, six, like that, 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 that really, I don't understand. Like he's an authority figure. You, you, you like them with the laws and the rules and the that you you just broke that rule you wh why why i don't i don't know how to say it phaser but you must have um uh we call in in here in we call it our guts you know because that's where all of the good spice is mixed um once they say uh, uh, good food is mixed twice once in the bowl and once in the guts so when they when they're in the guts, you feel it. And uh, authority is nothing, uh, Mother used to say, is nothing without uh, um, a good feeling in the guts. And Definitely this place, I like, you know... I... Contest that you had. And after that, chili, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, my guts are feeling. I don't know how my guts <laughs> are feeling. <laughs> yes, nice. I'm going to pay for that later. Oh, hey, uh, my guts are going to pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just but see, work. like, the thing is, Phaser, we now we've had those chilies, it's gonna clear my guts out, which means I'm gonna have a clear mind. I like I'll be at like a 200 IQ. I don't know if I needed that much detail, but but I'm I'm glad for you. That that's that's good. <laughs> so well, you're not like, a bloody sharing a lot, aren't you? Abs on the outside, abs on the inside. <laughs> abs on the inside. <laughs> right. You see the goblin just moved to the si other side away from Ripper. <laughs> Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. <laughs> so as you kind of get shoved through uh, these silken doors, you immediately see a large pit in front of you. Um, so I'm just grabbing up my thing so I can actually describe it a little bit more accurately by looking at it. That would help. So inside the tent itself it's kind of one of those bigger on the inside jobs uh where it seems to hold a lot more mass than it did externally uh one of the things that's kind of instantly noticeable is that there's this tiered seating about five rows of tiered wooden benches 
uh, strewn on kind of rush and then there's a drop in about 15 feet down into a pit which is just covered in sand on the benches uh kind of lining it it is one two three four five six seven eight nine sided so it's kind of nine sided uh pit none are gone yeah and <laughs> the yeah none are gone uh and then it's filled with a crowd who are all kind of cheering and you can see in the pit instantly there is kind of two groups of people just fighting uh as they they seem to be fighting with weapons and you see what looks to be um kind of it's a smaller minotaur probably only a teen kind of like tufty beard fighting what looks like a fawn kind of skipping around on their goat legs with this giant stave and then the minotaur just ducks down and runs the fawn through and then turns and salutes the crowd and there's this huge cheer it turns around and suddenly your eyes are all drawn to a dais on the opposite side from the entrance on the dais is a turquoise and gold kind of side sofa that the romans used i would say chaise lounge is the closest uh, for us behind it Again, velvet red curtains. Atop it, three or four strange figures. Three figures standing. You see a very elderly turtle. Uh, you see a young-ish tabaxi. She's looking particularly sullen as she leans against uh, the awning and a post. And you can see that her fur, she almost looks a little bit like an Egyptian cat. Um, and then finally, there is a hulking minotaur who is covered in these kind of orange tattoos and a kind of purple skin. And he's he's got a chest that is, you know, almost as good as Ripper's, considering he's twice Ripper's size. And reclining almost, on the sofa... Almost as good. Yeah, not quite as good. Uh, ...is, well, to be blunt, the most beautiful woman you've ever seen. Excluding She's... Lack and Six Miss Mother, of course. Of course. To them. For propriety's sake. She is in her mid 50s, perhaps, late 40s. It's hard to tell and would be even ruder to ask. And she is reclining, watching the match. And as this fight ends, she stands. And what's amazing is the crowd that have been baying and roaring fall instantly silent. Well, that was quite the show, ladies and gentlemen. Now then, I believe it is time. Do we think that he has done enough? Has he won back his honour? And we can hear the crowd suddenly start booing and holding their thumbs down. She says, hmm. It seems, Ichthyosos, that you have not won your freedom. I must speed you to your next life. And suddenly the pit <clears throat> opens and he just falls through the floor into splashing water. And you can hear this young minotaur uh, kind of trying to keep tread water. And then you will see the fin break the surface, <laughs> move towards it. And suddenly, Ooh. Ripper gets tense. He, he gets his weapon out, and then suddenly disappears. A laser beam comes out because it's sharks <laughs> with freaking laser beams in there. How well you know! <laughs> uh, and he just disappears below the water, which pulls red. The floor closes again, mm -hmm. and the sand rear kind of rolls out over it. Six looks to the goblin that's taken them and goes, uh, "This, this will be the uh, no violence that's on the other side of your sheet of paper, will it?" It kind of makes right, the no. a little tame, doesn't it, in comparison? That's rules for visitors, mate. Like, locals have different set of rules. Like, it's a lot tougher for us. Do you know what I mean? Like, we got some crazy ones. Like, like let me get them out. Because that's another thing. Lined, can it be a lined sheet of paper, you know, with a margin yeah. and everything? Yeah, absolutely <laughs> is. And just written on it is things like, 
Bullock are not allowed to wear casual shoes in front of people. No way, that's that can't be right. No, that we got rid of that rule because it, it just it's because you're wearing people. casual I've shoes now, this, this so place it can't is called be true. LJ's, is it not? A little bit, yeah. Like we were considering that before we went with the Revel, but you know, then like the madam. It's a local like, nightclub in joke, by the way. So uh, <laughs> which I got, yes. It's yeah. been a oh, long time. I know you got time. it. I'm just giving it to the to the audience. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like your standard local club, like sticky floors, nightmarish. You know, like yeah. club Way too sticky floors. Very good. For Very such good. a really downtrodden place. Hey, we, had, we had a JJ's. <laughs> you got LJ's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Every town has one. Place. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so you were kind of dragged through, and. Uh, taken down some steps to the Goblin Gate. Right, excuse me, sorry, excuse me. And it leads you down this uh, kind of around past this tiered seating into what looks like a side room. And that side room kind of leads you down a flight of stairs that's spiraling. And then what looks like you're walking towards a wall and then there's this bright light as you walk out and you are standing in the floor of the arena now. And he says, uh, Madam, I have brought to you this bloke what did violence against me. And I, she stand, looks down. I stand one step away from six men. <laughs> and this uh, Madam looks down and says, Did violence against you? What kind of violence did he do? He hit me with his bracer like in the face. That kind of bruised. It was, it was a very he light touch. touched you. I bruise easily, all right? It's, look, look. And he just holds up his piece of paper. Rule two, no violence. It doesn't say, like, <laughs> no <laughs> violence unless yeah, it draws blood. I'd like, to, I'd like to think it violence. shows the wrong side of the paper. <laughs> that's that's, that's a lie. It was barely a caress. That really was a lie. That well, look, violence ca caress without consent Nearly, is violence, isn't it? A little insight into Phaser <laughs> there. That was good, like that. Yeah. If a caress yeah. without consent is it violence, then also is a kidnapping. Look, mate, I don't make the rules. And she goes, ah, this is... Okay, this is a little bit uh, confusing. It feels like it's a bit of violence against conversation. Do you know what I mean? No. <laughs> okay, All right. What we are going to do, we are going to settle this. After a break. Uh, <laughs> so, legit, we're going to knit to break very quickly, and we are going to be back soon. See you all shortly. Yay.
Hello, why would you count up? I assumed you were going to count to five. <laughs> in Spanish, and you went up. And I count wow, up, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You have one job, Brad. One job. I thought mix it up a little bit. Don't mix it up a bit. There's a stage Welcome manager. back, everyone. Look at Christine. Like, would you mix it up, Christine, in the middle of your stage managing responsibilities? I, mean, I don't like to say fuck no, but yeah, <laughs> I hope this sort of just jumped out there. <laughs> People like consistency of routine. Um, so you find yourselves, as I say, in the middle of this arena. And you are speaking currently to this middle aged woman looking down at you who says, now it seems that there have been some crimes that we need to discuss. There is an allegation of violence against, uh, what is your name? And she looks at you, Six. Um, my name is Sixsmith. And why did you break one of our rules? One of our dearest companions was kidnapped uh, whilst we're on your turf. Uh, I was assuming that we might get taken to a, a constabulary or somewhere where we could talk to a figure of authority. Uh, Madam, I did not expect it to be you at the top. I would never have troubled you with something like this. Um, but we really dearly want our friend back. And some of the people, uh, we're learning there are laws, two sets of laws, and we're hoping you would grant us um, some dispensation. Um, we need to find our lost companion. He's very dear to us. Hey. You... They, you... she, she, it. It is very it, he was six, would say, wouldn't he? It is very dear to us. You can see Madam uh, kind of looking around at the crowd who you can hear a few of them starting like, kill, kill, kill. Like they just want an entertainment, basically. And she just looks at the crowd and they kind of hush. And she's just still reclining on her one side, barely paying any attention to you. She says, kidnapped? This um, is uh, a serious crime. Yeah, Indeed. Uh, I mean, it's, it's one that your guards did not take seriously. 
My apologies, Faisal. No, no, it, um, it, it's, uh, you see, it, her name is Toots. Um, she is a, a pangolin, which is a creature from the land I'm, I'm from. Um, and um, so you might not recognize her form, but there, there are not, there is none, none like her. Um, and she has beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, like beady, beady, tiny, little, beautiful, <laughs> beady eyes. <laughs> It's, I'm sorry, Christine, no, you cut no, out at that exact no, no, point. No, no, so no. Six has to step in where every time you cut out on your internet, Six steps in and describes tweets. Yeah. It's and meant that, to be. And that, is that in real <laughs> life, Six sometimes. just interrupting? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beady, beady, terrible little eyes, you know, of tiny. No, no, terrible. they're beautiful. Just hold up her hands. Yourself. I don't know what that means. It seems to me that you are upset for what yes. after a companion. You see, um, madam, it, it's not long ago that, that we lost another companion of ours. Um, she she died saving our lives, and 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 to lose someone so special was very hard. Uh, and now we have lost our other companion, and. She's, she won't know where she is. She, she won't know what's going on. And um, it, it feels as though we did not know where else to turn. This madam will sit up. She comes from the reclining, just sits up, holds out her arms, and you can see the elderly turtle and the mind turtle kind of step forward. And she uses, they just kind of lift her up and she stands. Mm -hmm. You can see she's got this gorgeous long red silk dress that flows down and these essentially like Greek curls that um, curl just over one shoulder. She holds up her arms to the audience and says, Good people of the Revel. The Revel is a place for those who are lost, those who are beyond their lives in the rest of the world. We take in anybody. From our visitors, we are strict with our rules. But for our own, there's more leniency. Because we know that overcoming your own nature takes time. It sounds as though your companion was very special. I am sad to see you are separated. However, if they were taken without force, then no violence has been done against you. I can see this might upset you. So I would propose a compromise in the spirit, because I believe that the spirit of the law is far more important than the letter. One hour, two of you may search the rebel, abiding by our laws. If you can find her in one hour, Without committing violence, without resorting to your base instincts. I will forgive this transgression. Your companions will remain here as my guests in this time. If you fail, I will have you brought back. I will have your companion brought back. And we will let fate decide what happens to you. So you are saying you know where our companion is right now? <laughs> of course. I know everything that happens on the rebel. Um, madam, may we help? May we ask for assistance from, from yourself or from anybody else to help us find her? I mean, we, it's not long since we landed on the shores of, of the rebel. Your first day here? Yes, madam. We, we, we stayed off offshore and we caught the boat today. Um, and, and we, we had a little, uh, um, uh, having, we were having a, a lovely time. Um, I, I found your museum of, of wonders a bit curious. But uh, um, <laughs> we also, um, uh, took, there was a knife throwing competition and, and there was dice and there, there's so much loveliness here. Um, so what Fraser is saying is we've had enough of games, I think, for one day. And if you give us back our companion, then we can settle the uh, transgression, as you put it. 
Like, uh, maybe a separate way. It does not seem like a sensible thing to ask us to do. Outsiders, when they leave this place, they sh should surely speak well of this place and not, not ill. It does not bother me how you speak of the rebel. The rebel will exist. I'm offering you a choice. As with all things, I am not your mother. I will not tell you what to do. Think of it less as a game, more as an opportunity. Every single person here has a past they would choose to forget. Their actions may sometimes be reprehensible, and they have their own guidelines by which they must abide. But I cannot police them. I am not a legion. We do not have those kind of, as you put it, if we... constabulary here. It is up to everyone to make their own decisions. Speak, yes. soldier. If we have, if we play this opportunity and win, then can we also gain passage out of Wildshore and towards mm. the north? You're running from your brother, Octavius, eh? Everyone seems to know exactly who I am. It's getting old. <laughs> Well, try not to be one of the most eligible bachelors in all of Janela. <laughs> and I will try not to notice. Madam, if we find evidence that uh, my companion was taken with force, will that, will that suffice? Because that would prove a crime has been committed. Yes, I would say that is wonderful. If my people have managed to acquire your companion without force... Such is life. If she but was... if force was used and my rule was broken, they shall suffer. May I also ask if, if what the definition of force would be? Um, if, if you see, Toots is very law abiding. She would not commit violence uh, if she was told not to, which we were violent. Um, so in order to obey your rules she might enable well you see i do not like this idea of hard rules that is a place for other people other lands this is the rebel i would say it is up to you to prove what you believe violence to be and how you have been wronged if you can find sufficient evidence well, then I will be swayed. And so just above the table, she she was inferring that she did know where Toots is. She's just not telling us. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I just wondered if she was, by companion, she was talking about Lack, but she's talking no. about specifically yeah. about Toots. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Well, so in this situation, six would... Oh, we've oh, lost Phaser. We've Phaser lost Christine. From, She'll be right oh, back. lost Christine. From, oh. from uh, Bear with me. anxiety and grief, Scream. I expect. Um, yeah, six six isn't likely to to. Uh, it's a strange one, but I think he might take his. <laughs> Christine, <laughs> there's a terrible episode for this to happen on. Yeah, because um, six would take his cues from Phaser at this point. I think. Okay. You know, really, it would be quite sort of up in the air. What what are we imagining Ripper would be doing at this point as well? I could, there's part of me that thinks so. Just sort of above the table, I think that he would he would. He, it's funny when it comes to him and laws, right? He's, he's a bit more lax. He's more on the, the sort of the laws of the gods, and, and he's sort of more on that side than on, on sort of the law of, of, of man, if you like, of land. Um, so maybe, I don't know, what, how would he feel about this person? So I have actually spoken up. to Ryan about this kind of encounter, yeah. not specifically this moment, but about what, what Ryan wants for Ripper in this place. Uh, and so I reckon Ripper would turn around at this moment and go, look, guys, uh, if I'm honest, it sounds like a bit of a shit deal but i don't really think i look i actually think she's basically like a decent person right and actually if we just listen play by the rules once and they're just kicking off like we did you know like we did with the smugglers and that maybe we'll make a new friend uh, worst comes to worst she knows where toots is we might have to have a fight or something but like That's it's like octi and I, oct octi and i will be stuck here like yes, I'll, I'll butter her up i'll get to know her do you know what i mean I have noticed recently that I have a tendency to set things on fire. I will, I will yeah. stay here. 
And you didn't even have any of the chilies, mate. Fizza, how would you like to proceed? Oh, no. <laughs> Frozen in. I, I didn't notice oh. for a while. <laughs> I, need, I need to look for toots. I need to go for toots. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Tits. We'll just assume that that Phaser is like sort of distraught and in you know like uh, incommunicative, uncommunicative until you know sort of. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Okay, Phaser, let's go. And he doesn't. He's not gonna sort of acknowledge the game, the deal, anything. He'll he'll go with Phaser and he'll take a look. He assumes okay. naturally it's going to be him and Phaser. I don't know if that's actually what's going to play out, but that's what he assumes. If that's what you want it to be, it was any two characters. So obviously Phaser would absolutely be there. Yes. Six, I reckon you'd probably be a pretty good shout to go as well. Okay. He definitely would think so anyway. Whether he is or not, I don't know. <laughs> okay. With his limited deception. Okay. So uh, during this time, Octavius... Yourself and Ripper get uh, led to a store underneath, which is, I mean, it sort of has the kind of a gladiatorial locker room feel about it. And uh, Ripper would almost instantly be like, oh, oh, been a while since I've been to the gym. Like, yeah, oh, this is all right, isn't it, Opti? And so, you know just talking to you but we will cut away then to the other two you have an hour to find toots mm -hmm. without force what okay. are you choosing to do okay um i i think um how many I, I think we need to get somewhere where we can see the lay of the land uh, and mm -hmm. and maybe see if there's somewhere that that, That's that good. would be a good viewpoint maybe you know toots um, you must know whether they would go closer to uh water or land or a cave or whatever trees or something yeah i think that's a good idea let's find some higher ground toots yeah she could be that's, stop that's crying phaser i can't so understand she... what you're saying you're you're crying yeah, too much <laughs> she doesn't care about the water or, or 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 anything as long as she's near her companions and 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 me and and that's she's a steel defender that's what she does she defends so um, we should find her. Um... Faser, can you take an insight check, please? Ooh, okay. I mean, we've been very dice light tonight <laughs> <laughs> for, for a dice game. I was just thinking that and I was going to say, like, Ripper is definitely performing for the crowd in the, in the inner circle right now. Oh, of yeah. course like, he's trying to. Exercise yeah. his calisthenics. Okay. Um, roll with advantage. Phaser, because I'm feeling kind. Oh. Frozen. I Frozen love it. again. Christine, it looks like you're waiting for the dice to finish rolling. It's just, anyone who's so, watching, if you listen to the podcast, great. But if you can, jump on the, the YouTube. Thank Twitch, you. Yeah the, the, yeah, the group chat's great. Thank you, uh, <laughs> Christine. Uh, so with a 14, you think back to all the places that you've kind of seen walking around and whilst you, you know Toots wouldn't leave you, you have travelled a lot and you start to think what, what is on here and what, because everyone here is kind of fascinated by stuff and you can think of um, a few places where that you've seen that might be good places to start where kind of oddities are kept. You can certainly think of one place where unique oddities are kept being the museum mm -hmm. we need to go to the museum of wonders the z visa this is not time for frivolity and joy and games no you, you don't understand no no it, it's it, it it's very bad spelling i'm not i'm not being enthusiastic about it they, honestly the, the, the whole place is just terrible for for, for for good grammar um so um if we head there then i think we might find somebody who might know something um okay you know they, they seem to be a, a i mean with the combination of creatures that they came up with to create the creatures they were not um they must have some kind of contact um, an interest in curios and other things perhaps and maybe have picked up toots as a, a, a as an item or something yeah good idea i was just about to say that actually it's funny you said that just about <laughs> to say that yeah let's go to the the the, the, the museum okay 
Um, so as you head back, it takes you a while to walk down, maybe like 10 minutes to walk back through the various crowds because you're kind of pushing against the tide at this point of the crowds. And you get back to the museum and you see the same kind of awkward teenage boy. Oh, it's you. You're back again, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am back. Now, um, I, I'm, I'm not going to ask about the letter um, because I'm sure you gave it to the right person. Um, but What uh... letter? Oh, yeah. No, I gave it to the right person. Yeah, that's fine. All sorted. Good. Um, but um, now, I, I have a question. Um, now, we have lost uh, my companion. You, you might have remembered she was with me um, when I was with the, the, the monk with the saffron robes. I got no idea what you're talking about. You kind of looked a little bit like me, but you know, smaller, scrawnier, little bit malnutrition, little bit like younger, but not in a good way. In like, I got no idea way. what you're talking about. This did you put a letter in Phaser about this guy uh, being bad at lying? Um, because I'm going to inside chicken. And now I'm going to insight check. Insight check this guy's lie. Oh, well, I'm going to insight let him. I don't know if it's a lie. I'm going to insight, insight check this guy. Okay. I'm going to log off this very quickly. Okay. Uh, two seconds because this is annoying me so much. Hold on. I'm going to hit a nine. That's only a nine. So it's not ideal. I mean, the thing about teenagers is that they're naturally awkward and. <laughs> um, they even when they tell the truth they seem like they're lying all the time it's in your experience this teenager is absolutely lying about something uh -huh. whether it's uh -huh. a specific thing it's very hard to tell okay um what did i pick up in the what, 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 you, this is this is terrible i can't remember but it's been a week what was the amazing thing i got from the um i don't think i've added it to my character yet i only saw it in my inventory um that's because I don't have that window up. You essentially got uh, a new armor set. Yes. Which you have not yet attuned to. Yes, so you wouldn't you're be able right. to use it. Okay, I was just wondering if I could use something cool and new to intimidate him. Um, Can you just um, hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. That's good. Um, this is on my 4G, so hopefully it will be less shit. Because there's two of us, and that would be a crap adventure if I picked that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, Phase is going to uh, climb onto. Is, is he behind the counter? This. Yeah. So it's like a little like up. stand booth outside the thing. Okay. Do you think she could climb onto the counter? Is yeah, easily way? enough. Okay, she's going to climb up. She go very close to him and go. Look, she's four foot to her highest points. She walks by the leash. She has her rear legs, and then she has claws at the front. She was with us. She's made of metal and wood and steel and she has eyes that look deep into your soul they're so beautiful and she's a lovely snout and a sensor and, 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 and a tongue that's 70 centimeters long could you please tell me that you remember her now make an intimidation check with advantage okay six is like you cut if you cut to, cut to him he would be like looking almost in sort of appreciation of like the phases take charge attitude at the moment She's getting desperate now. It's 15. Then he goes, oh, They took her inside! Inside where? Just points at the museum. Oh, we've lost Christine again. But oh, it's no. such no, a stealth face. <laughs> Every time Christine freezes, it's, it's, deli it's such a tremendous Don't tell face. me I'm doing it on this board. Oh, you're back, you're back. No, you're back, okay. you're back. That's all right. So she's going to go, Now listen, I know you do the puss thing. And you disappear. Um, so I don't want you to do that right now. You need to stay here. It's very important because there's someone coming behind us. You need to meet them. Okay. Shh. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna gr I'm gonna grapple him like sort of so he can't escape. But I'm gonna do it in a way that is is like overly friendly and jockish. You know, and you go oh so, yeah, and I'm gonna get him in a ripper. Grapple. Way. Well, whatever. So, because that is a move. That is a specific thing. Yeah. yeah, that is a specific thing. Okay. I would also remind you above the table that you were tasked to complete this without breaking either of the rules. See, now I would class that, like, if you clasp some around the shoulder and you make it friendly, it's an intimidation, like, the same way that kidnapping isn't violence. I would say that intimidation isn't violence. He's well, Ripper there as well. No, Ripper and Octavius or Because that is a Ripper, total Ripper move. Well, is, we'll just uh, give him a big cuddle, wouldn't he? 
Yeah. Octo- <laughs> uh, Ripper and Octavius are currently uh, guests of the madame. Yeah. Love it. Ripper okay. is trying to entertain the crowd and Octavius is having none of it. <laughs> also, can I just say that Ryan would go, oh, do I have to do any... Um... Do I have to roll for that, Johnny? Do I have to roll to see how many press-ups I do? Because he loves to just roll for shit, doesn't he? Yeah, uh, yeah. Brad, roll a D100. Oh, right. And how glistening Please I am. Please roll a one. See, so there's one press-up and books out. 92. Holy wow. shit. <laughs> no, Ripper's on fire. 92. Yeah. Nice. And he's doing I mean, that thing where he moves there. between, he like... on fire and all that grease and oil on him. He does, like, yeah. archer press-ups on both sides, yeah. and he's doing, like, he's triangles and hunters. Yeah, yeah, doing you the whole thing. need to make all of my rolls do 100s, Johnny, because I've rolled <laughs> 100, 92, and 87 the three times like that. I mean, we literally could, and then just divide it by five. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. That's, that's the way it matters. It'd be um, great in Call of Cthulhu. Oh, no, you'd be dead, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. I mean, I, to go back to the point, I, I feel that restraining someone from leaving could definitely be interpreted by them as an act of violence. That's fine, because I'm sick because Six thinks that kidnapping is an act of violence, so he's willing to to bet the two against each other if, if faced with the Just magic. above the table, I will remind you <laughs> you are tasked to complete this without breaking those two rules. So you can Above the Why table you... as well. I'm like all right, well, he's going to put his hand around his arm, around his his, his back and say, um, yeah, you, why don't you lead us to where it is? And he's going to hold, I don't know if I can do this out of combat, but hold an action to grapple him if he tries to escape. Then I'll do it. It's yeah, something okay. Something like that. I want to try and catch him sure. before he disappears. If he disappears. Um, make an intimidation check. He is already pretty intimidated, so the DC will be lower. That's good because I'm not great at intimidating, but that's okay because I've got a dirty twenty. <gasps> okay. Yay! So he goes. Um, I thought you wanted me to stay here. Do you want me to go in and show you? What am I supposed to do? Well, Faisal, why don't we? Uh, I think he wants to show us the way, doesn't he? Uh, you don't mind, okay. do you? Show the I'm, show I'm... The, the lovely gnome where. No, that's absolutely fine. Is. I mean, none of the puffing, okay? None of the disappearance stuff. Oh, I don't promise. Okay. Well, in which case, you you need the way and show us exactly where inside. I remember being quite. Big. So he he leads you in uh, through kind of the you know the crap definitely not an owlbear the crap definitely not a hydra definitely not a manticore, and you come uh, lack you kind of see the the stone pedestal that you'd seen earlier, um, oh no, lack doesn't lack's not there sorry, and um, but uh, Phaser you see like the stone thing that you'd seen earlier you'd not really be paying attention because you're so furious by the animals. And kind of near it, you see a what looks like a cage with steel, uh, or what, probably steel bars. You also see that the bars have been completely bent open, and it is empty. Okay. Um... Could you make an investigation check for me? What, 15. 15. As you uh, go in and you start kind of looking around, instantly you find one of Toots's scales that has come loose. Um, you also, with that roll, see that it is slightly wet with something. Okay. Uh, can I see what it is? That it's wet with? Make a nature or medicine check. Mm-hmm. Which one's better? Nature. Definitely nature. Ooh, 16. It's blood. Oh, well, that's... Um, it's blood. Uh, six, um, this is blood, and, and Toots doesn't have blood, so I don't know what it is, but there must have been violence here, um, and Toots is a steel defender, so she must have been defending herself. Um, so, I, I, I mean, if nothing else, this is evidence that she was taken with, with violence. So... I don't mean to uh, listen. I, I don't mean to be difficult, but it could be uh, evidence against us that uh, Toots might have caused some violence. Now Toots fits outside of a sphere. I would expect having not having a bangle, um, but uh, but I'm just saying it's evidence either way. So maybe we should just keep it on the, you know, okay, keep it quiet. Maybe, but, but if 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 she was being violent, then, then they would have taken her to the madam, like they did with us. I mean, you maybe, you, you, like, you know, the thing listen. With the blood. In this part of the world, in most parts of the world, I don't, I don't know about Zawati, but in most parts of the world, if, if something is different, they're at least taken somewhere and examined first. I, I, it's not always the right thing to do. 
but it's it's, it's especially here it seems like the place you know the, uh, I, I don't know what uh, Toot is made out of tiny little beady eyes and funny little nose and all sorts of things um but uh yeah uh, well, I, well she turns to the she turns to the the teenager guy. where 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 would they have taken her What's i don't know i put her in the, the, the thing and like she must have clawed her way out i don't know just free free for a second <laughs> one hyperventilate okay that's not a good thing just take, take deep breath in and breathe out breathe in and out again right now think where would they have taken her i don't know I just That's said really the really test. Really. I just didn't show people into the museum. Okay, we're getting to the point where you need to breathe it here. Look, um, uh, who are they? Who was it that took Toots? Now, please, we've got very limited time to find her. We must find her. <laughs> How do you spell that? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Okay. Can we track the blood? Can I, while this is happening, can can six try and see if there's sure, a Sure, make a blood? survival check. Okay. Uh, Phaser, I would allow you to make an investigation check to kind of scout around because this guy is clearly useless. Okay. Another dirty 20. Okay. Another 17. Both those rules will help you. As um, you see that there are a couple of drops of blood and then the kind of the blood trail itself disappears. Um, Phaser, as you're looking around, you can see that Toots has got very peculiar or particular claws and that there are clearly markings in the wood. Um, can you make an insight check for me with advantage? Oh, because that was a three. <laughs> yeah, that was a seven, so not great. Okay, so with a seven, you feel like Toots is trying to tell you something, but you're not entirely sure what. Okay, do they point in a certain direction or...? or... There is definitely like a trail that you can follow. And I say with those two roles, they whilst you can't figure out exactly what those are, you can at least follow them. Okay. Um. Uh. Six minutes. I, I think we we must give this lad up. I, I don't think that he's much, much use. I, I'm very sorry, but uh, but you're really not. Um. Uh, and I think we should go and, and follow this trail, and maybe we'll find two. Oh gosh, we've got to find her soon. We do. Okay. And he, he thinks he really wants to, he thinks if Ripper was here, he might ask him to throw him in the cage, but it's not, a, it's not a sick thing to do, but he's not, he thinks about it though for a while. I guess he's looking at this kid shitting his pants and thinking that's, I, I, let's not throw him in the cage. And he's not, if, if Ripper was here, he'd give him a speech as well about how to turn his life around. Not don't be complicit in kidnappings and stuff. No, Rip but, is showing off to the crowd. Yeah. So 600, six. 700. <laughs> uh, maybe six just goes, you know where to go, and he points at the, <laughs> the cage, and then they, and then he leaves with Phaser. <laughs> okay, you two walk back out into the revel. You're surrounded by the thronging crowd and the stalls. What would you like to do? Um, uh, the trail, the floor. Does it, does it go anyway, or is there a follow? Yeah, it definitely kind of follows, um, kind of weaves through the crowd. Uh, you found it and you're following it as the crowd's kind of calling in. Can you make investigation or survival checks to try and keep up with it? My investigation was an 11. What okay. am I supposed to do? Investigation or survival? No, you, you can do investigation. Do do Six is doing survival. Okay. It's only an 8 on survival. Okay. Well, with an 11, you feel like you've lost the trail. And then uh, you... Make a perception check for me, Phaser. Whoa, 21. That'll do it. As you're looking around, you can see um, a pie stand. That's probably the best way of describing it. Kind of three tiers. Or rather, it did have three tiers. Now it's just the owner who is in tears. As this thing is kind of completely on its side, there's cream everywhere. And there's just kind of 
quite uh, stout woman in a uh, kind of, you know, um, Greek and style white dress is standing there going, well, I can't bloody believe it. Like, coming around here. Like, did you see it go past? Knocked over everything. Look at the mess here. Um, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, oh, oh, hello there. How can I help you, dear? Um, you, you do look a little bit like there's been some violence committed here. Are, are you okay? I don't know about violence, but only pies are on the floor. I'd say it's just good nature's hijinks, really. Like, the lads came running through, and then, like, this big old monster came running through, and now, like, then more lads running over with a net after it. And now look at the mess. Where did they go? Oh, I think they went that way, love. And she just points off further down. Oh, okay. Is there, um, uh... Yeah, a trail of cream yeah, from pies. Cream. Pie filling cream, yeah. Uh, Survival pie investigation. Pie trail uh, mine are the same christine so i can do either to be totally honest with you so if you're okay doing, uh, i'll do investigation because i got 24 18 it doesn't take a genius to work out that running through a pie stand and knocking over all the pies would leave a vast amount of cream on one's feet and you see like a cat that's walked through something these creamy footprints heading off uh, further down the rebel the pies. Toots, toots, <laughs> and before we leave, <laughs> before we leave the late, before we leave of the stage, yet, I'm, I'm ever so sorry. Um, just before I go, what's your name, please? Oh, they just call me Martha, love. Martha, um, okay, Martha. Well, well, look, you know, I, I feel terrible that your pies are destroyed. I, I know you say it's by jinx, but you know, that's your hard work. Um, if it's possible, um, I, I will get up, Madam, and you can tell your story. If you'd like. and I hope you can I won't worry about it, love. This kind of thing happens all the time around here. It's just inconvenience, if nothing else. A few more hours, I'll have a bunch more pies. Deirdre! Okay. I'm just going to shout out. And you see this young-looking harangued girl who's clearly has got, hmm, strong daughter-in-law vibes. Uh, <laughs> That's a Terry Pratchett reference, if ever I've one. <laughs> and just comes around going, Yes, Mum. And uh, they kind of get back to fixing the mess. Or... The daughter-in-law is fixing the yeah. mess. Martha is, is. I think six. Like he goes, wait, wait, and he and he and he takes a bit off the floor of the trail. Yes, just what I thought. There's not a bit of turmeric in it. It's an, an embarrassment. Come on, <laughs> Mesa, let's go. Okay, uh, well, Martha, we, we we may call upon you again. I, I hope that's okay, and um, and I hope you're all right, and I hope you get everything done all right. Goodbye. Let me go. My there, last. Put your back into it, Deirdre. What do you call that? Like, we'll never get this place up and running again unless you try. <laughs> right, okay. we're going to follow that pie um, yeah. mess. So you do uh, follow the pie mess, easy. If someone is chasing uh, um, her with a, with a net, maybe we can bring this up as evidence, you know, uh, uh, about her uh, violence. Uh, her, 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 um, she's chasing and being chased. It seems like she's not the only person chased her. I'm not sure. Well, it does seem almost impossible to kidnap without violence, and maybe this is something we want to bring up about these so-called laws. Um, I think that's a good idea, Faisal. Let's, let's, let's be in hot pursuit. Okay, and, and, and thank you. Thank you. And let, let, let's go. Okay, you take off again following the pie trail, um, and once more you kind of following it, and it seems to kind of fade off, because there's only so much cream in a pie, even Marta and Deirdre's award-winning, at least from the Rebel Pies, <laughs> can you both make me, pardon me, perception checks? Uh, I got a nine. I got, oh, yeah, an eleven. An eleven. With an eleven, you kind of do that thing where you both kind of start looking around the floor, spreading out a little bit as the kind of the pie trail disappears. Um, and Phaser, you're just a little bit too short to see what's really going on above the crowd as it's a bit thicker in this location. But Six, with your uh, greater stature, you manage to look over some of the crowds and uh, you can see, you know, like the strength things that you hit and it goes up and ding. <laughs> you can see one of those at a jaunty angle. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, Phaser, let's go. I, I want to hit something with a big hammer. Uh, and um, we oh, okay. And um, he rushes towards the, the jaunty angled uh, apparatus. 
So when you get there, you see um, a comically large uh, man, sort of Victorian bodybuilder type, where you know, kind of almost spherical, uh, with one of those stripy What's kind the of villain's tunics. name from Popeye? Bruto. Oh, Bluto. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind Brutus of. was a much that? worse Bluto. villain. <laughs> Bluto and Bluto, isn't it? Blue, it, it is Bluto, isn't it? With a B. Let's not get sidetracked. Okay. Um, and... Did you think it was Pluto with a P? Right, I'm going to have to Google Pluto. No, not sorry. even a planet. Pluto's not even a planet. Definitely not a villain. <laughs> Tell you who is a villain, the person that made it not a planet. Um, and, Your mum uh, thought she was a planet. Oh, yeah. Your mum thought Pluto was a planet. <laughs> as, um, as you get there, you kind of find this big guy, kind of like striped blue and white, uh, kind of tank top with tiny little training skirt on. It's kind of like... Um, uh, one of those kind of Roman skirts that's it's like the equivalent of when kind of you know see a guy in hot pants kind of thing and he's just sitting on the floor uh, kind of underneath did you mean sorry that was a bit late I'm doing like a ripper you know when you see a man in hot pants Com- uh, conflicted is how I feel when I see a man in hot pants I don't that. think ripper would be conflicted I think that's, he'd be entirely that's entertained. a Ryan thing though isn't it I'm sort of trying I don't know where Ryan and ripper end and start <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah. a bit of Ryan on Ooh. that um, and so you see this guy lying That'd there underneath, to witness that? Jesus. mashed together Runs like enough. some kind of transporter yeah. accident. Um, and they'd be it kind of just lodged almost underneath the strength device. It probably has a name. Someone Google it for me whilst I'm doing this thing. What is uh, it called? Yeah. Strength hammer? Stre- it's called the Hitty. Clearly, we would never Test, gravitate it? towards it. Well, in the Rebel, it's called the Hitty Hard. Yes. Uh, so, hard. <laughs> under the Hitty Hard, it's, uh, it's fallen uh-huh. kind of over, and he's there, and he's going. <sighs> <sighs> the High Striker. Oh. I think it was called the High oh. Striker. Thank you, Dan. Oh. I think you'll find it's called the Hitty Hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and this guy's going to go, Oh, me knee. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> and it's crushed um, under this thing. Are you are you all right? Oh, not really. It is. It is like look, it looked like it. I think it was an elephant. Just ran through, just knocked it over, and it fell on me. Oh, me knee! I'm not going to be doing competitions for weeks. Oh gosh, <laughs> um, I, I'm very sorry. Um, do you happen to to what, what? I mean, what happened? Was 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 she being chased or or something? Well, there was I, minding my own business, going for the record. I pulled back. I went to hit the hitty hard with me hard, and I was going to hit it. And then, like, I got hit by, like, something. Well, by the hitty hard. I just saw, like, this massive shape running, and these people shouting, Quick, get her before it gets away. And they had nets and stuff, but then, like, it knocked it over. And, oh, now I'm lying here injured. Oh, did, did you happen to see which way that, that, that they went? Uh, oh, I'm afraid I was just stuck under here. Oh, me knee. Got to let get me help. Hold let to me the help. Knee. I think it's like this, Fazer. Um, Tiny little beady eyes, a horrible little snout, um, very strange, upright, lying down, doesn't know, armadillo type thing, I think is the, the description. <laughs> That's what you said, wasn't it, Fazer? I think you're describing an elephant. <laughs> oh, no, I know okay. a little bit of thing about elephants, I'll tell you that. Um, I, I... Either way, I think it was an elephant. Um, okay, well, um, I think you just don't know what a, a big pangolin looks like, but okay. Um, no idea, but I know what an elephant looks like, because one of them knocked this bloody thing over. Okay. Um, ah, oh, Feza, I think he's, uh, a, maybe he's... a loxodon is giving chase to your, uh, to your uh, companion, to our companion. Loxodon? I hardly knew him. Can we just say, can we find someone, <laughs> is there anyone nearby that we can ask, look, did you see which way they went? <laughs> yeah, as you turn around, there's kind of the audience going, or well, the bystanders going, "Oh, I all took off that whale of." Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and then I'll... look, I can't resist. Like on on his way past, he's going to whack the thing with six. Has to whack the thing with a hammer. Thank you make, very much. And he bashes the thing. Make around. a strength check, even though it's on its side. <laughs> yeah. yeah, with the <laughs> probably with the butcher shield. Let's be honest. Um, <laughs> It's just a, so I just yeah just a strength just roll, strength check. Uh, Twenty three. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> oh me ears! Oh me knees! <laughs> oh, <poor guy. laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Faisal, let's give chase. Let's find, let's, let's find this. Can we look we for go? footprints that look loxodonish now that we're definitely sort of... Make an investigation or survival check. Um, and before we go, should you just get the Hitty Hardy man's name? What's your name? It... My name? You're yes. my name? Well, yes. Stalling. Stalling for time. <laughs> my name? <laughs> Okay, well, I the names. She's writing it all down in a book. She's trying right. to get it. Baby. Well, His name you is see, baby. I'm a strong man and I do the hitty hard. So my name is obviously Brian. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. Uh, off they pop. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, make an investigation or survival check. 15 on my survival check. Okay. Oh, a 10 on the investigation. Six, you find small traces of black substance, which uh, when you point it out to Phaser, she very quickly discerns is the lubricant and the oil that she would use uh, to make sure that Toots is healthy. She's bleeding. Okay. She's bleeding, Six. That's her blood. We, okay, we... well, we better hurry up then. Okay. The, um, yes, okay. Let's go. Okay. So, as you uh, give chase you kind of start again following this down can you both make uh investigational spiral checks to see how well you keep up with the trail please Ooh, I got a nice. oh nice i only got 13. easy enough you now you know what you're looking for you are like a hound following a trail and uh you realize at this point you've kind of had nearly 50 minutes uh and time is getting close as you kind of pass by what is it i'm going to skip past some very obvious trails of destruction uh, and i'm sure somewhere we'll have a fan one day who'll love us enough to animate a short just called uh toots's day out that will be like <laughs> the sequence of events as you find various kind of carts and stalls knocked over and just trails of uh you know um there's kind of apples all over the floor there's a guy going my cabbages and um all is that kinds because of things cabbages are also fallen or he just doesn't know what an apple is what's no, the it was it was another lovely reference oh was I, it yes i don't i don't think we have enough time to investigate you know okay. toots his life is in danger <laughs> okay. and uh as you skip forward again you manage to uh make a perception check for me And six as well, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got eleven. Nineteen. Uh, so again, the crowd's getting uh, really busy, uh, and uh, Faisal, your eyes are kind of on the floor as you're trying to just watch what's going on. But six, you kind of look up and you see, comically in the distance, three kind of tallish men struggling with a net over their shoulder and uh, a nondescript bag that's kind of just like. You know in cartoons where there's like you don't you see like a fist inside the bag and it comes out the perfect fist yeah yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that just this struggling shape inside this bag <laughs> and it's moving towards the center tents uh which is where everybody is waiting and flex it ripper is flexing is that the center tent um okay. are we close uh how far away are we you're about 100 feet away okay. um, I was. I don't know what Faze is going to do. I, I, I don't know if, if Faze mm. recognises, but if she doesn't, he'll alert very quickly. And then Six will run and try and get in front of them. And he's going to go something, if he can, he's going to say something along the lines of, um, uh, ah, my friends, perfect. Yeah, lovely. Um, we'll take it from here. Thanks very much. Good work. That sounds like a persuasion check. Well, actually, a deception check. Oh, damn. Oh. <laughs> um... <laughs> When are you just going to create a bard, Sean? Yeah, I know, I know. That's a 10. Okay, they will roll insights. Uh -huh. They have a plus zero on their mod, I will tell you that now. And that's cut, so it doesn't count. 50, 50, 50, 50. They roll a 10. Uh-oh, meet it, beat it. Fuck. Meet it, you beat it. Uh, mm. So they uh, go... I don't think I've seen you round here before. Uh, 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 but you may have seen um, uh, the the little one over here as Phaser runs up to them. 
you may have met this one over here, right? Um, works directly for the, um, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, and he trails um, off as you, hoping they'll fill in the blanks for him. I've got no <laughs> idea what you mean. Uh, uh, Faze is going to put on her eyes charming so she can okay. try and charm them. Um, so, yeah, it's... Yes, here yeah. they come. Yeah. We wanted them to yeah. be used. Yeah, uh, you've got to make a wisdom saving throw of 13. Um, and does so... Oh, no, we're not quite. So, they've made their... Check, what are you going to say to them? I'm going to say, um, oh, thank goodness you found it. We've been searching so long. Oh, you've done such a good job. That's okay. We, we can take it from here. Thank you. Um, we've got to take, we've got to take this straight to the madam, but, you know, we, we can take it. You look like you've been through a lot. So as you say this, Six, you see from Phaser's goggles this almost like, uh, you know when you get hit by flower? It's just like mm -hmm. this, uh, uh, it's like spectral kind of flower just poof, settles on them. And you can see them both kind of just blink. Oh, yeah, well, that's all right. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah sorry. All right, here you go, here you go. And just pass um, toots thank over. Thank you so much. Can, can I just ask where, where you found her? Um, She's what just, happened? Just walking along and we just decided to pick her up. Okay. Oh, um, uh, Faisa, you were going to ask w uh, exactly the instructions the madam gave in to give to them in order to take. Oh, them. madam uh, didn't tell us to do it. Well, no, we thought it'd just be a nice present because it's really weird and she likes weird stuff, innit? Oh, okay. Um, well, I tell you what. I mean, would you mind coming with us? You can tell madam that. Um, I mean, I, yeah, I'm right. Guessing, I'm guessing that she put up some resistance. Oh, isn't charming. You know, when when yes. you when you um when you collected her. Oh, she struggled a bit, but you know what? You know, it's all right. We had a net. It took Thanks. us a while. She knocked over a pie stand. Yes, I um, I, I know. I, I, I've met Marta. Right, he was a mess. That's oh, Marta looked annoyed. Yeah, for sure. Yes, they work amazing. Okay. Let's get um, in the tent. Get in the tent. Okay, so, so um, <laughs> if we... Bless you. So, um, so she, she, she didn't... So I'm assuming that the, the, the creature, she, she was obviously didn't want to be taken to the net. Is that right? No, I don't really know. She didn't really. She she ran away and struggled a lot, and she did. She did scratch Garius, and you turn oh, around well. and like one of the guys has got like massive cuts on his forearm. Like, okay. She's ugly. Well, but oh, you won't oh. tell anyone about that, will you? About your uh, about your cut at I'm all. I'm guessing it was an years. accident, wasn't it? Uh, while she was trying to get away. Yeah, it was probably an accident. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Garius okay. says. Well, let's go and let's go inside then. Shall you think it was an accident that didn't even have anything to do with Toots, wasn't it? it would, you, you fell over something and, and hurt yourself. Six doesn't know what's going on, but he just thinks he's going to yeah. push it till he... I, Sean doesn't know what's going on either, but Six doesn't know. Uh, so, Six tries this and the guy just stares at you. No, oh, she did it. Yeah, but, uh, okay. Well, let's but go and see London though. and talk to London. Um, um, or just before we go to the tent, she's, she wants to take the, the, the spell lasts for an hour and we only had... How long is it now? Five minutes, oh, or... five minutes. You are only like four minutes away from the big tent, okay. so you can easily make it. We'll say that you guys get back there with these three um, ruffians in tow and manage to walk back into. Right. On the way, I think he just liked six. We just go, Phaser, just ask how a tooth hurt themselves. He doesn't really understand what happens with the gold or anything. He's just like, Phaser, ask how tooths hurt themselves. I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, because we can communicate. A bit like treacle company. So um, yes, she's going to ask Toots through the through the net. I don't think they've taken her out of the net yet because we've got okay. to go quick. Toots um, kind of gives you a Toots like, let me out of the net. Okay, we will. I promise. We'll just we'll just go inside first. How are you hurt? And Toots will tell you that she's okay. She just she took off one of her scales, knowing that you'd find her, and she's been trying to leave signs, knowing that you'd come and look for her. Okay. Okay, they couldn't really hurt her. Good. These guys are idiots. Okay. They only caught her by luck because she ran into something when she was looking behind her. Oh, okay. Well, well done, Toots. Um, okay, we'll, we'll go inside then. I'll take you out then. Okay. So, okay. so they're, they're going to go inside the red, red tent now. So as you walk back inside the red tent, what you find is, uh, again, kind of this centre 
uh, platform. You can, you're kind of led down to it. A few people know you're coming. And there's uh, the crowd kind of goes quiet again. And Rick is there going, 2,500! 2,501! <laughs> oh, God, you guys took your time! And uh, Octavius, I'm assuming you were just stood there awkwardly. Yeah, just sort of le- stood like right next to him. It looks awkward as hell. <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> next to him. Yeah. <laughs> and the madam looks at you, and you can see the uh, tabaxi that had been behind her lean down and kind of whisper something in her ear. And you see her just dismissively wave it away. And she says, With a minute to spare, this is most impressive. Um, thank you. Um, thank you for the opportunity, uh, madam, uh, to speak for her. Um, we. We have found her. Um, and now I would hear your tale. You said you would prove. Yeah, we've got two done. men for the fighting pits for you, uh, madam, for your all of your games, your parlor games. We've, we've take, um, brought two men for the pits. One moment. Um, uh, I feel that there has been a, a gross misunderstanding, um, at the very least. Uh, uh, and there has been um, a, a lack of communication. Um, between all people, um, these these three, um, they can tell you that they uh, are not under no orders from anyone decided to uh, to get present. Um, but unfortunately, to uh, um, not know and does not like uh, being taken, so she objected. Um, and they they for some reason um, decided to imprison her, um, and there was not not, not it was not good. But I'll let them tell the story. Um, it's going to push the guys forward uh, to say, to, to, to verify what she said. Okay. And as uh, you do, one goes, Yep, yeah, it was us, boss. <laughs> yeah, Duck it, we just thought it'd be really cool. You'd like it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so um, I, I believe that uh, to is here, to, but she can't communicate to you all, but she can to you. Um, and yes, yeah, she was imprisoned against her will, uh, and uh, she made an escape. And there was uh, quite a bit of disturbance, I'm afraid. But I, I spoke to the people involved. Uh, there was a, a, a martyr who was a pie lady, um, and then there was Brian who does the hard, pretty hard machine. Um, and oh, and then Brian. there's these chaps here. Um, I, I believe there were, might have been a, a, a bit of a scratch, maybe. But, Toots has a lot of sharp edges, so uh, it's very easy to accidentally scratch yourself uh, uh, on her. Um, so, yeah, so I think there was a bit of a, a, a bubble, um, but that does sort of prove, I believe, quite strongly that Toots was uh, taking a case to will. Uh, so I, I thought I'd, I'd present that to you. Well, this is most comprehensive. You have been thorough. I can see in your notebook there names, times. You have... Listed so much information. Um, I didn't grapple anybody. I... No, no, he didn't. I and mean, it was totally tempted. No. But no, no. I would concur. It is true that you did not break my second rule. Uh, uh, good. I don't um, like the way you said that. What was the first rule again? Oh, it's a charming... First rule was divination. Divination. And divination, enchantment, and illusion. Neff here tells me that you did, in fact, use enchantment magic upon my people. I mean... Well, yours used kidnap against ours. I would say, unless you want more trouble than you already have, that's, I think that's a fair exchange. Um, I, I, I beg your pardon, Madden. Um, I would say that the enchantment was to stop further violence. Um, so, I, you know, sometimes, as you yourself have said, no hard rules, because the hard rules is the spirit of the rules. Yes. Isn't, uh, isn't Toots bleeding? Um, Toots is hurt. Yeah, she's been So hurt. there's got to be some violence enacted here on your behalf. Um, yeah. This is one of the reasons that I love the revel. Nothing is simple. It is always a challenge. This is a difficult situation. I think I might ask someone. You must excuse me whilst I ask my advisors. Sargos, what do you think? 
and the elderly turtle kind of moves forward. Mm. I think that wrongs done on both sides, and when you take someone against their will, mm, folk will get mighty desperate. Hmm, interesting. Neff? And you see the source really forward. I think that you should just kill them. Hmm. Oh, that, that's I object to that. <laughs> Rantos. And you see the mind will come forward. <laughs> well. I'm happy to smash them up if you want me to. I've don't really have an opinion on this. I, you, know, you keep me here for hitting things more than masking. I'm not so good at this. You, do you want me to hit them, boss? Yes. You are all useless. Why does <laughs> everyone forget these things? Why is the rebel? Why? All of you are my children. We are here to escape persecution, to escape those that would treat us against our will. Yes, this tiny non at these two idiots, but they first wronged her. Newcomers, stand to the side. You two fools, stand in the middle. I want to talk to you. You hear, definitely hear a ripper. Oh, as he gets up from his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His press ups. <laughs> Are you all moving to the side? Y yes. Yep. Yeah. So these kind of three idiots kind of stand in the middle. And Madame just leans forward and you can see in her um, kind of gorgeous dark brown eyes that there's just this fiery rage as she says, Do no harm. That is one of our rules. Pranks, yes. But causing harm to another against their will. I don't want to talk to you. Grantos! And uh, you see the Minotaur just go, hmm, finally, and just jumps off the dais and pulls out a double broad-handed mace and just brings it down and essentially turns one of them to paste <laughs> and then gets the other one and you see the floor start to open and he just picks him up by his foot and dunks him in the water. The water very quickly turns red and there's a pulling and you see Krantos just balancing on the floor. Let's go. The floor close. Hmm. About time. Those two always got on my nerves. And then he kind of just climbs back up. Visitors, you have my profound apologies. Yes, you broke the rules, but the harm was done to you first. I do not like these sort of things. No one should come to harm in my home. Unless they are here to break my rules and hurt others. But you were the wronged party here. Now, Octavius, you mentioned something of passage. How may I be of service? We are, well... Actually, passage is the lesser important thing. We are looking for a specific someone that may have passed through these parts. Um, goes by the name of My Center. Mm, you will excuse me, I have not heard that name before. Um, uh, what, well, he, he's, um, uh, he's human, and he's, uh, he wears a cloak, and, and uh, I know there are people who wear he's, uh, he's a tinkerer, and, uh, you know, someone who, who, who makes things. Um, and he's also, you know, he's someone who, like you, does not he's he's had some persecution um and we're trying to find him and he was definitely headed this way on his way to the end i am sorry young lady i have not seen this person uh sargos mm, no my ladies i've not seen anyone like that around these parts okay. um okay um thank you um, maybe well, if I cannot help you find a person, you wanted a boat, where would you like to go? Uh, Lack walks in at this point. He just says, um, 
I think we want to go to Nomengard, right? Um, yes, yes, we are yes. seeking the ruin of a temple up there. Ah, well, your business is your own. I do not need to know. Nirmengard. Hmm. Sarkos, have we got any any skips moving that way? Hmm, milady. I believe we only have one, but it belongs to him. Oh no, I do not want to deal with him again. See what I want, milady. <sighs> okay, I may be able to help you. Um, it is a little awkward. The person who is in charge of this boat is he and I. Um, he gets under my skin a little bit. I would ask if you would go north, if I were to give you this opportunity. Could you do a small favour for me? I will pay you handsomely. Or rather you will receive payment at the other end. I just uh, need uh, a small delivery. Well, I mean, I, I'm very small. Um, what, what mm. is it you need to deliver? A letter. To Koshgat. It is a place along the western coast of Nomengat. And to, to a person in Kishkart? Yes, you need to take it to the Yarl there. You yeah. will know exactly what it is all about. You know, okay. I've, uh, my brother and I have known letters to uh, begin wars and to end them. What A letter is very powerful. What what uh, We need to know what is in it. It is sometimes more powerful than delivering... Um... I can promise you it is a private affair. It is not something that will cause you harm. Not How much harm would it be? Okay. Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll you do not have to do this. I can send it with someone else and they can take the reward. It's no problem to me. I don't see why we can't deliver something discreetly. It's not a problem. Well, you do not have to be discreet about it. It is a letter you all got. You give it to me in public. Nothing no, but weird will happen. reading it, I mean. Oh, well, of course. I would not expect someone to go through my things. That would be grossly rude, especially after the favour I have done you today. Yes, yes, that would be very rude. Um, okay, I mean, we can take it better, that's not a problem. Marvellous. Sarkos, give it to Nef, she will take it down to them. And see the turtle kind of like a... <laughs> and reaches out and pulls kind of this long piece of vellum out and passes it to the tabaxi, who just looks... Ugh. And you just see her click her hand, and this <sighs> spectral hand just picks it up and floats the letter down towards you, Phaser. You are muted. How long is it? The letter? Yeah. Wait, it, it's you... it's like a sealed a piece scroll. of vellum. It's, yeah, it's probably about six, seven okay. inches long. It's quite, Sorry, just, quite small. Six, seven. Oh, just because she said it was a long piece of vellum. So I was like, a bit taller than me. <laughs> no, 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 no definitely not. not. Uh, <laughs> tapestry. That's okay. That's right. Yeah. Uh, she will put it into pocket number 29. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the man goes, well, if that is all, um, we will send instructions down to the boatyard. Uh, there's a small dock at the back of the Revel. There is a single skiff waiting there. The captain is a acquaintance of mine. Uh, okay. Um, what is his name? So we need to ask for it. He is a Norrina himself, he is from the land, he will be able to show you around. His name is Ofloki. Uh, interesting. Okay. Okay. No problem, thank you very much. I know, sounds then. like a trustworthy guy. Can um, I have a small question? Is there a place um, in your wonderful city where we may be able to uh, purchase some items of uh, a magical nature? I'm sorry, Wadjo is a small and distant, far-flung corner of the Empire. That is not the kind of thing we carry. You already seem to be remarkably well equipped for... One can always have more equipment. Uh, absolutely. You know what Mother concur. used to say? Pack light. Eat heavy. Something like that. You know, wise women indeed. Now, if you'll excuse me, the crowd wants blood. Oh, uh, then we definitely should leave. Okay. Um, I would advise it. Just it above the table, did, did, did she tell us who this figure is that she doesn't, she's not 
cooperative with. Is that off Loki or is yeah? yeah okay, I'm just knitting it's the two things together. Take off Loki's okay. boat. Okay, fair enough. Well, marvelous. In that case, I will uh, bid you a farewell, and you can find your way out of the red tent. And very soon, on the back of the rebel, you see this bit where kind of the stalls end, and there is just a kind of a tiny boat there, kind of the equivalent of like a fishing tug. Um, it is kind of a small skiff, kind of covered over with essentially a tent. It looks almost a little bit like a longship. A little bit like a longship, but it's not got the giant uh, sail. It's almost just the kind of the canoe-like body with his serpentine ends and then just this tent at one end. It's like a river boat, but instead of... Kind of. Much smaller, much thinner. Um, and waiting, just sat, leaning back in the boat, looking up. The shaved head, the blonde hair of Loki, who's ah, my friends. Wrong accent. <laughs> Hello, my friends. It seems we are taking a journey together. How exciting. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. <laughs> oh, Lack hasn't let on anything yet. I wonder no, if like, yeah, we don't he's know a man of one. secrets, isn't he? Man of secrets. He's se a monk he doesn't of mean secrets. To. He doesn't mean to, but he ends up like gaining. Ends up having, ho hoarding them all, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to hurt anyone. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, we got Toots back as well. That was good. Phew. Resourceful. Resourceful. And uh, without companion. facing yeah. the challenger, I have you in the arena, which was pretty good. <laughs> so yeah. thank God Ryan wasn't here because you would, he would be shots. so angry right now. So, so annoyed face, that he didn't get he? combat. Yeah. He'd have just punched someone in the face just for the game. He would have, uh, wouldn't he? <laughs> So but would there. Ripper have done? That's yes. the real question. Yes. Yes. Ripper would right. have done because yeah, there would was have no done. difference between Ryan and Ripper. That's, <laughs> that's the truth. Generous. Well, he hideously good looking as each other. That's it. Yes. Absolutely true. Well, well done, folks. You've now had uh, a fairly big law dump tonight. Sorry for that. Uh, in the foundry, there are notes, so you nice. can actually see names and things. And, and you said there we're is... level eight now, is that right? No, I didn't. That's right. Oh. Yeah, we milestoned. We're going to Numenor. But you. <laughs> Did go back a level for asking, so you oh, are now no. level six. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah. I see what happened. Oh. Uh, classic. You need that feet, man. I need can to we, go can up. We, Johnny, can we go I down a level? Feet. Yeah, right, you're level six, <laughs> mate. Ah, damn. <laughs> Reverse psychology. I'm nothing if not work. generous. No. Um, but well done. You are officially leaving Chanella for the first time. Hey. So Ooh, next yeah. episode, we'll pick up on this absolutely not dangerous Sea of Storms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah nothing dangerous yeah. about it. As you head back, that ball and... of clouds did not look ominous. Yes, it's fine. Nothing, nothing will go fine. wrong. And uh, I believe we do have Ripper back next week, which is mm -hmm. marvellous. So it will be exciting to take on these challenges together. But we have you may Lack have lost Lack next missing, week. so it'll be an interesting sort he's of gonna episode. He's going to go and he's going to go and have words with the shard and just avoid everyone and not talk to them. <laughs> the yeah. Maybe he's not great on a boat. Maybe he's a bit afraid of water. Maybe he's seasick. Maybe, Maybe he's he's know, on a uh, boat. Yeah. yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, well Sorry, done. Sorry, I was going to let that hang. I'm not, I got it. I'm just letting it hang. <laughs> I'm fine. not enjoying it. Everyone loves Lonely Island. Strike, just for reasons. <laughs> That's why. I said four words. That's it. There's, it can't possibly copyright that. It's going to sit in the crow's that. nest and just yeah, but it was, it was, the It's the insinuation. Yeah, I like that. Um, well, thank you for joining us, folks. As always, you can find us at Blood Song Party on Twitter and at um, Blood and Song on everything else social media-wise. Please do uh, like and subscribe. And thank you to Sirenscape for the epic soundscapes that you provided tonight, because epic games do need epic sounds. Thank you to Foundry BTT and to DMD Beyond for being our kind of companion apps and keeping everything going. Um, we will pick this up next week as you finally have some real direction and see how that goes. Until then, have a wonderful week and may the Great Mother guide you in all that you do. Good night.